Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Modeling Minecraft. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at how to use display settings for your custom Minecraft models. So what are display settings? Simply put, display settings allow you to change what a model looks like depending on how it is being viewed. So for example, I have this brand new model here that I've just made, and as you can see, it doesn't fit in my hand very well. It looks way too big if I throw it on the ground and it just kind of doesn't fit in with the rest of the Minecraft items. And this is actually a problem that a lot of new model makers face and it is a really easy thing to solve. You don't need to redo your models, you don't need to change anything with them except add in the display settings. Now, there are eight different views that you can set for your display settings. So there's the first person right hand, the first person left hand, the third person right hand, the third person left hand, when the item is in the head slot, when the item is on the ground, when the item is in an item frame, and when the item is in the inventory or the GUI. And for each one of those different views, you have to set three different things, which is the translation or the sort of position in 3D space, um, whether it has any rotation, and what scale it is. And for each one of those three different values, you have um, numbers for the X, Y, and Z axes. So for example, the translation, you'd have translation on the X axis, on the Y axis, and on the Z axis, and same for rotation and scale. And for scale, it's important to remember that there is a maximum of four. So you can only go up to a maximum of four on each axis. And I believe the translation has a much sort of wider limit. It's like 128 or something for those. So just remember for the scale, because that's something that sort of limits it the most. And also bear in mind that the item model scale depending on different mobs. So a giant will still have a massive item compared to you. So to actually create the display settings, they go straight in the actual JSON file for your model. So I tend to put them right at the end. So you have the textures, the list of different elements involved in your model and then right at the end is where I usually put the display settings. So to do it manually you follow a similar format as seen on screen now. So you have your elements list and then a comma after the uh, final sort of element and then you'll have display and then curly brackets and then any of the different um, views and for each one of those views you have um, a curly brackets and then the translation, rotation, and scale. And each one of those has a um, square bracket with three values in them separated by commas. And that is the X, Y, and Z numbers in that order. Now, obviously doing the display settings in this manual sort of way is very tedious and time consuming because you can't actually see what it's going to look like until you actually load up the resource pack um, and then make sort of fine tunings that way. So I definitely do suggest using either Cubic Pro or Cubic Studio, which both have inbuilt sort of dedicated um, display setting editors. So in Cubic Pro, you'll click on views at the top, edit mode, and then choose one of the different uh, view types. And remember to click enable for export, um, and then just export your model as normal, and it'll have the display settings included. Um, in Cubic Studio, you click on the preview button and then set all the different uh, settings over on the left. One thing to note though is that in Cubic Studio, you do have to enable custom display settings by clicking on the settings button as well. Another great feature of both Cubic Pro and Cubic Studio is that you can actually set the preset values of the vanilla sort of items. So there is a section for presets right at the bottom of the display settings, and you can add your own presets for use later on as well. Now, I will also include a link in the description to a paste bin, which has all of the vanilla default values for all of the different views. If you just want to quickly copy and paste those um, straight into your model to fix any things like block models or item models that look way too big and stuff like that. Okay, so now that we know how to add our display settings, I'm going to quickly fix up our model here, and then we will reload it inside Minecraft. 
Okay, so here we are back inside of Minecraft now. And as you can see, the model fits perfectly inside my hand. It looks good in all of the different views. Um, it fits inside item frames. And when I throw it on the ground, it doesn't look overly massive and doesn't clip into the floor either. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments if you have any problems or questions and I'll be there to sort of help out. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.